Being dismissed by doctors and left feeling hopeless. And this isn't to degrade doctors out there. This isn't to say that every doctor's like that. They're certainly not. There's some brilliant doctors that I personally know and work with. However, one of the worst things about chronic fatigue has to be that, you know, being dismissed by, by someone who you respect higher to get some advice from and they basically disregard you and, and dismiss what you're going through. Um, I think that's very, very challenging, um, you know, to be basically told that, you know, it's all in your head or, you know, you're just making it up or you just need to get on with your, get on with your life and you need to motivate yourself. Some of the, some of the craziest comments have come from people with, uh, with a, a medical degree to say, you know what, you, you know, you need to get pregnant or you need to sit in a sauna or you need to uh, push yourself or not be so depressed all the time. Um, and these kind of off the cuff comments can be very detrimental. And uh, fortunately, you know, there's other great practitioners out there and medical professors who do help people and do realize and actually validate what you're going through. And, you know, the biggest reason why I started this recovery program over 10 years ago is because I wanted to help people on a practical day by day level where they weren't getting the help anywhere else. You know, doctors don't have the time to really prescribe to you what you need to do on a day-to-day -day basis on a holistic level. Friends and family not understanding. I think this is a big one. And, um, you know, we see this in our community. We have a private group where all our members chat with each other. And the best part about it is they're finally understood. They don't have to explain themselves at all. And they're totally supported. And I think the biggest thing with chronic fatigue syndrome, again, it's that invisible illness, um, you know, and I guess... If you never had it, would have you understood what someone who, who is going through chronic fatigue syndrome um, is feeling? You probably wouldn't. Um, however, now that you're going through it, you have the compassion, you have the understanding of how excruciatingly painful it can be to go through something like this. So number four is friends and family not understanding and that creates separation, that creates a gap, it creates isolation and basically there's this feeling of um, not really, not really feeling supported, understood, or acknowledged. And this isn't to say that you need to carry on and, and basically talk about how bad you are all the time. We don't encourage that at all. But it's important to point out that you know, having a friend and family members who can really just support you, even if they don't truly understand, but if they support you and, and acknowledge you for where you're at and what you're going through, it's a lot more helpful than not at all.